Marmo stretches and delivers. Swung on a ground ball to the second baseman's right. Siriaco's got it. The throw to Aguilar in time. The game is over. And the Columbus Clippers have won the Governor's Cup. The Columbus Clippers win the Governor's Cup. And they celebrate here at Victory Field and give them credit. The Indians had all the momentum coming into this game, having come from behind in games three and games four. But Columbus does it here at Victory Field tonight. And it really had to be like this in terms of a five-game series. Now, a little bit surprising we didn't have another one-run game here in game five, but the Indians deserve a lot of credit as well, and they got a great round of applause as they headed towards their dugout. But the Columbus Clippers, boy, a really nice bounce back from last night because that was so demoralizing the way they had lost the game last night. But I think that first inning run really big to get some win back into their sails, so to speak. And they were able to hold off the Indians here tonight. How about Mike Clevenger, Howard? The youngster, he did it in game five in his AAA de debut in the opening round. He did it again here today, and boy, does he have a bright future. Well, yes, uh, he was outstanding, and the big story, the Indians had the momentum coming in, but he simply stopped them. Yeah, he really did. From the really the early get-goings of this ball game, he struck out Alan Hansen to start the, t the, the set the tone, rather. The Indians, though, hit the ball hard in the early goings of the game, but it seemed to be right at defenders, and really their biggest chance was in the third inning when Dan Gamash led off with a single. Tony followed with a base hit as well, and they had runners at first and second, but they left them at second and third later on in that game, and Clevenger, who the HTSN viewers see on their screen, just really kind of picked up that momentum and ran from there. And, boy, a 24-year-old right-hander, only his second career Triple A start. If you were just guessing in the stands how much experience he had, you certainly wouldn't be guessing it was start number two. Well, you hit upon the key. It was the third inning. Both Dan Gamash and Tony Sanchez lined singles to left field, both on 0-2 pitches. Then Gustavo Nunez did his job. He sacrificed the runners along. And then came the pivotal at bat in the game. Alan Hansen up there. The Indians were trailing one nothing with runners at second and third and one out. And Hansen strung out, struck out on a changeup that was way outside. And then Gorky Hernandez flied to right. And Columbus wins the game. 